Hey folks, it's Rob. Welcome back. We're carrying on. We got, you know, a museum to loot. No, not really. We've already done a lot of the looting. What we now need to do is basically go upstairs. And get out, effectively, to where the vertibird crashed into the building. And there she is, the suit of power armor. Now, here we have uh, Sergeant L Daly's tape. It gives a basic little rundown of what happened on the day when this crashed here and why this thing's here, and it's a nice little touch. Um, this is where the fusion core goes in. Without the fusion core, this doesn't work, right? Uh, it's effectively the fuel for the suit. You burn that fuel by moving, for the most part. Um, and sprinting burns it faster than walking, as you might expect. So you want to kind of limit such activity. So you hit an E for enter, you plug in the old core, now it's there on there, and if you want to get that core out again, you just like, kind of basically grab it off, hit E, and you just take it. Uh, but if I want to enter, I can also just hit E. And this is a nicely animated piece of work here. It does actually seem like you would actually fit inside. I like that. Now there's my damage display. As you can see, my uh, effectively my left arm and right leg are in bad shape. You can now see my AP meter down there in the corner, and you can see my core is actually only half power. Um, so it's already half drained. I'm not experiencing any rads, and I have full health. So here's the vertibird. You just continue to move as you always have. Cosworth, could you, like, get out of the way? Thanks. So grab that gun. You can still pick up loot. And I would su highly suggest never passing up any duct tape if you get the chance. As I said in the previous video. Um... Oh, you want me to come on down? Sure. This is not obvious, but you can totally do this. And not get hurt. So. Uh, hi, guys. Good, that's going to explode. There's still fighting to be had. There's somebody shooting at me. Uh, you can see the damage indicators are still coming in. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to run down the street though because of that. Let's uh, top up the ammo since we're in a little moment. There we are. Yeah, I know something's out there. All right. <laughs> Not a good day for them. That this is what I'm waiting for. And uh you know I'm gonna Codsworth got a mouth on him about it. I love how he just like basically just taunts the enemy all the time. Alright, so Codsworth is also pretty much fearless, and you don't have to worry about him dying in my experience. I'm gonna let the Death Claw actually tear up the raid what's left of the raiders. Yeah, now it's got my... I've got its attention. Occasionally the barrel overheats, or you need to reload. You only have so much ammo, so do not waste it. Uh, 
You can still use vats. Let's go for main body. See, that's what happens to Codsworth when he's knocked down. He just kind of sits. He goes into a kind of a, a survival mode. What, you're alive? How on earth are you alive? Well, the minigun's about dry. That's okay. Because if I need to... See, I'm actually out of ammo. Right? Uh, if I need to, I can always just get out any of the regular guns. Don't have to use a minigun. What the fuck was that? Oh, I, I walked through the sandbag. And it just kind of crumped. Okay. That was new for me. <laughs> right. So, because I've blown apart... <laughs> All the attacking raiders. We're now ready to move back inside and move progress the quest. Don't want to leave behind though the death claw loot. We'll progress down the street there, so I'll go get the rest of that loot on the way out. Yes, it was. I'm just glad you were on our side. Damn right. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. So 100 caps and 50 fusion cells. A, you know, it's not that's not an inconsiderable compensation. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with me? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. You don't know my pain, lady. They shot my wife and stole my baby in front of me. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. All's not lost. I can feel the sun's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. Biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. Great. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna Gosh, kill you. Shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy... Got a better idea of what we should do next? 
Mm-hmm. Anybody? Mm-hmm. Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, Junior. Damn right. Oh. You ain't got a solution of your own, do you? Come on, bitchy McBitch face, let's go. We owe you. No doubt about that. Now, <sighs> this is an escort mission. And what is worse is that basically nothing happens on the escort mission. <laughs> um. Because we have already gone and shot up practically everything that's in between here and home. Because where we are going is basically home. And... That means basically we're now going on a walk with people who are slower than you. Fortunately, it will give me time to go and loot these bodies. So there's that. And being slowed down will mean actually that we're going to run about their pace. But I could just give a lot of this stuff to Codsworth. Oh, that blew this open. Hey, hey. Cool. Dude, what are you standing here for? Hey there. We need to keep moving. Yeah, we do. Come on. Is it because this car blew up and it's in your way? Let's go. Thank you. Does that mean I can stomp on some of the junk and tip? Maybe like bodies and just crump them out of existence? <sighs> just gonna walk backwards. I mean, you remember when we killed this, don't you? It's not like I magically appeared in Concord, you know? I had to get to Concord. Yeah, they're like, goodbye, good riddance. I mean, I really, <laughs> really could do without escort missions. It'd be nice. It'll be nice to know whether or not... See, you can hold down E, which is what I just accidentally did. You can get out of the suit. I am going to continue being in the suit. That was an accident. Why are we going to continue being in the suit? Because this is the way we get the suit back, basically. I could fast travel back. I don't know if they'll get if they'll continue progressing. It'll be worthwhile of an experiment, but not while I'm on the video. Um So yeah. I have done some random exploring, which I may or may not follow up with you guys. But I've kind of You can spend a lot of time building up your base. I left the dog there. I'll have to pick him up. And I think I left decent loot in, like, storage over there, so I'll have to go and get that, too. Doo -doo -doo. Still faster than you, Mama Murphy. Do 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 do. Do do do. Well, I'll be damned. It's a monument to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. 
little easier to be ready in a minutes now. These, these, see, these bodies aren't getting stomped in the ground. Oh, you want to talk to me now? Well, before we get in there. And and by looking I for him, way I can help. Anyway, we've we've only gone anyway, as far as Concord. <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. So yeah. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. I mean, you don't even have to, like, by the nature of sandbox games, you are free to not do shit. Right? So, should I decide, screw these assholes in Concord, I didn't have to. I can shoot these people. I don't think any of them are invulnerable, like Dad was in Fallout 3, because he was plot essential. Um, so, we're going to walk this back up by the uh, repair bay, and I'm going to conduct repairs on it. Because, as you can see, we have a damaged arm and leg. And actually, uh, I think everything is a bit damaged in general. That's our cook station. I'll want to move that eventually. Yeah, see, the fusion core power is now low. We're at uh, 25 and falling. Once the fusion core is empty, you'll enable to enter vats or power attacks and move at a reduced rate. Not sure whether being overloaded drains the power uh, uh, drains the power can uh, fusion core faster. I guess this will be a demonstration to somebody. get over here by the lift and we will just get out so if I want to make repairs first off let's transfer in our junk so there we go and now I'm gonna craft so as you can see, we now have all these various components, right? The six bits of the suit that go on the outside. There's essentially a frame, and each of these mount to the outside. Guy, you're in the way. Codsworth, what the hell, man? All right. So the helmet. You have Model A and Model B. Model B is better, but weighs more. Okay? Um... As you can see, to upgrade to Model B requires the expenditure of adhesive, aluminum, and circuitry. Now, before we do the upgrade, 
I'm going to just complete repairs. So each part will take, yeah, see, steel, 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 steel more steel, yet more steel, some steel and circuitry. Okay, the suit's now back to full function in that all the components are full health. If I want to go to Model B, it's a simple enough modification. As you can see, a Model B version versus the Model A version, right? The Model B version has more health, has more energy and physical damage resistance. It has more weight by only 0.6 on the, that particular piece. I think it's well worth doing. And so we'll make it a Model B. Um, there are material mods. They're basically paints, but there's also winterized coating. Winterized coating increases your energy resistance. Um, there's all other items I don't actually have like the perks for at the moment. And then there's miscellaneous mods. Again, generally require some perks. And then the headlamp on the on the headpiece. Um, currently, we just have the basic headlamp but there are alternate headlamps available. So, and now we have a T-45B helmet. So let's modify the torso. Let's see, we'll go with the uh, other leg as well. I like symmetry. I don't think I have enough material to do both arms. Well, actually, I do. Cool. All right, let's upgrade the suit entirely. And it's now not so rusty looking, it's now just very gunmetal looking. So it, it, that's had a physical effect in, uh, on the appearance of the of the unit. Oh, actually, yeah, don't do that. All right. To do some work. And if I want to get the fusion core back out of there, I mean, basically, it's just. Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> Not what I planned. I'm gonna just park it over here because this is done being modified for now. Uh, what do you need, dude? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Uh, you can't Why do, do you it. Need my help to build beds? Look, we got a lot on our plate, and we've been on the run for weeks. We need food, water, shelter, you name it. Well, you asked how you could help. Right. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's basically you doing the basics of getting this encampment going. Uh, yeah, I was going to get my fusion core out of here, and that means basically... Uh, transfer and grab. There we are. No point in leaving it in the suit. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. Yeah, I heard. Um, my walking around armor, right? Uh, right now is basically just uh, an outfit, the drifter outfit, right? So that goes. Um, that's a full outfit. There are other items that you can basically kind of do piece work with. So, like, if I wear the jumpsuit, right, I could then wear, like, the Raider chest piece on top of that, and arms, and legs, and that makes a whole different individualized piece of armor. 
sailing with the leather chest pieces because they tend to be way less um, than the metal raider chest pieces. You know, uh, you can do that. Again, helmets are separate from the rest of the body in most cases. I think there's a couple outfits that have the um, that have the headgear included, but not generally. Okay, I'm gonna, this is my where I'm dumping stuff right now. This toolbox, and since I want to deal with this stuff like off camera, I'm just gonna just dump it over. Because you don't need to see me break down a bunch of tools and weapons and such. Some of this stuff basically doesn't get broken down. Like these you can break down, right? Uh, but the long johns? Nah. And basically you just end up selling them. Uh, or giving them to your colonists so that they like have something to wear other than what they came with. Um, it's a little Skyrim-y in that like uh, the clothes that you wear have powers, right? So, but it was like that in Fallout 3 as well. So this militiaman outfit gives me agility and perception. Uh, and it's an under item, so I uh, it doesn't indicate that, but it is an under item, and so I can wear all that armor on top of it. Uh, the jumpsuit is an under item as well. And there's the welding goggles, which I might use instead of the glasses, but we're going to put them in there right now. Uh, and I'm just going to dump the aid items I don't like to walk around with. And then the burnt textbook, yeah, it has weight, so we're going to dump that off. Right, and that minimizes my weight load. Let's get into how do you build a bed. Well, okay, here's the workshop, right? And in workshop mode, first off, one of the th important things you need to know is basically you can now clean up the damn place. Like, you can store intact items. You can scrap trash items. You can also scrap good items if you want for the necessary components. Here, see, uh, you can also just like select things in place and replace them. Right. So now this couch is upright in the right position. Um, that's an intact one. Well. It says scrap though. Well, it looks like intact. What, what's wrong? Mm. I can't manipulate it, so I have to scrap it if I want to just deal with it. Meanwhile, this is the one I can keep. <sighs> it's broken. I'm going to just scrap it. Um, so here's a table that we can just store. And here's a t chair I can just store. This radiator is useless. We're going to scrap it. And we'll store that. And you can see you get re materials out of the stuff that you'd like process. You could like totally just basically trash out the whole kitchen because, I mean, it's not going to do anything. But it's up to you how you want to handle this stuff when it comes to it. I mean, like, this bathroom ain't doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> honestly. But, you know, you can leave the toilet in place if you want. There's Mama Murphy hanging out in one of the rooms. So, let's go find a house and let's go turn into a bunkhouse. Oh, um, right. See, like, we have this like, whole just, like, ruined house here. I can also scrap that. As you can see, it just gives me a buttload of materials. And some of the surrounding bits are individually cleaned up. There we go. 
And now I have a nice clean foundation. And if I wanted to, I can go into structures here. And like in the prefabs all the way here at the end, there's a whole freaking house. Though you want to build a new house, you can totally build a new house. Uh, it's only 40 wood and 20 steel to build this house. That's the wood. In metal, if we run down to the end here, you can also build this house. This funky looking thing. Let's set it so it kind of sits on the pla on the yeah I'm gonna build it because I feel like it. It's 20 wood and 40 steel. And there we go. It's a complete. I mean I totally don't need to do this. <laughs> I'm doing it because it amuses me. Right. So now I have this weird house that I can like put stuff into. And so hey let's let's make it a bunkhouse. Um, so furniture, beds, right, and here we have a bed, and you can see there's various beds, they are basically the same, except these are just mattresses, this is just a mattress on the ground, this is just a sleeping bag, and these are beds, right, they're different styles, but they are beds. Some of these spaces are not exactly convenient, though. Um, I don't want to just jam them in, either. Mm, I want a decent aesthetic! Mm. Right, there. Oh, another thing. Doors. they're useful. <laughs> you can do them. It seems to only really work with the construction materials though, like if you have a house that needs a door, like uh, say this one, can't do it. Won't work. But there we go. We now have this like weird house. And I put a couple beds on in play. Now you can see up here at the top, we have an indicator across the top. We have people, food, water, power, defense, beds, happiness, right? Um, we have two beds for five people. We have enough food for one person, uh, enough water for nobody, no power, but nothing needs power, so it's green, no defenses. Our happiness is falling in at 20, and the size of the place, I'm not quite sure what the size indicator even means, to be honest. Um, if you got a bunch of junk around and you don't want it anymore, basically just scrap it, right? This clears out a nice little space here for working. Um, this tire wall, if I don't want it, gone. Big pile of rubber. Um, the tires here, individual ones. This jack, it's completely useless. There we go. Clean the damn place up a little. It's nice. And it replenishes the materials I have been using. Um, so like this car, this car is going nowhere. I think I've been a little led on by the whole Corvega thing. Uh, <laughs> but not to worry. <clears throat> This is our house, my house. I may want to live in there. I may want to live here in the workshop. I'm not sure. But let's get this place together. Let's turn, let's put a few beds in here. Um, I'm going to store that. And, you know, we'll store that too. This lamp, never going to work again. Uh, 
uh, scrap the suitcase and we'll store the dresser and we'll store the chair and we will scrap that radiator. Okay, so now we are ready to turn this into a bedroom. Um, let's use a different style bed just because we can. There we go. And let's make it nicer. So we'll stick a container in here. Nothing too drastically huge. There we go. Like, you know, one of these little corner units. And because I'm nice, let's stick a simple, like, comfy chair in here. There we go. And you just, like, can turn things using the mouse wheel. Uh, well, basically, I just, like, press right and left mouse to rotate. There we go. And then, if you're especially creative and want to, you can also do, like, hangings and such. So let's say I want to put this, like, nice picture of boats on the wall. And there. And apparently I've been earning XP doing this. And I didn't level up from before, so I got two levels to do. We'll do that for the finish of the episode because we are running we are over. So right, let's let's get out of this. No, I don't want to store that. No, I don't want to do that. There we are. Okay. Level up. I got three levels to do? Jeez. Okay. So what do I want to get into? Well, of course I want to be able to, like, you know, pick locks. And I want to be able to hack better computers. And taking less damage in general, I think, is a good thing. But I also need going to need more charisma. So I'm going to spend on charisma right now. in the anticipation of future need because I'm going to need this local leader down here um, I also really am um, wanting to um, get into gun nut in the future and I may want to get into armor All right Join us next time when I've finished off uh, some of the work on the town instead of having to make you sit through all of that and we'll be ready to carry on. So you have a nice day folks. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.